The uh, subject of mental health and the attempts to gauge mental robustness or intelligence or uh, mental fitness in general is something that's always interested me. Um, for one thing, I think that our stigma or our taboo against the subject of mental health or mental illness is in its own way rather insane because it implies that um, people should not recognize a disorder which actually exists uh, and should um, not seek treatment for potentially lethal disease in the case of depression or lethal to others in the case of certain forms of delusional schizophrenia and so forth and go, go around untreated for fear of being stigmatized untreated depression can lead to death and uh, untreated uh, delusional schizophrenia of certain sorts can lead to dangerous behavior uh, can lead uh, to uh, conduct which endangers the life and well-being of other people so we're kind of nuts as a society to sort of say that people who suffer from these things or people that have these kind of, uh, of problems um, should be stigmatized if anything it should be the opposite we should be encouraging these people to seek treatment and lauding their uh, efforts uh, to improve their overall health um, in this case their mental health someone who um, who goes to therapy to improve uh, their motor skills or someone who simply eats the right foods and exercises is lauded as a, a person who's conscious of their physical health um, but someone who actually takes measures to improve their mental health or to rectify a problem uh, with their with regards to their mental health is still very heavily stigmatized now this a lot of people sort of say that this just has to do with issues like depression or or um, uh, schizophrenia or generally clinical um, mental issues but I, I tend to take that a little bit further in our society anything that we identify with being mentally uh, or intellectually deficient is automatic grounds uh, in many cases or in many people's view for dismissal if not outright uh, insult or frustration or denunciation are there any people out there who are just plain stupid just not too swift not very intelligent what should our assuming these people exist what should our attitude be towards them well in the puritanical Western way of looking at things stupidity seems to be seen as a moral failing or a conscious choice in other words you stupid moron um, you stupid idiot is seen as a legitimate outburst against someone who has done something which or who is what we consider as a society stupid in other words if someone simply isn't too swift or if someone isn't operating up to standard mentally or intellectually and I don't mean somebody who's actually got Down syndrome or someone who's a slow learner or autistic or whatever I'm just saying someone who's just uh, what we might call not too swift or doesn't catch on we're justified in denouncing them or becoming frustrated with them that is equally inhuman and equally insane in my opinion it's not a moral issue at all that's just the way that person is thank you